five suspects have now been arrested in connection with the murder of Bontle Mashiane. They face charges of kidnapping, rape and murder. The six-year-old's mutilated body was discovered on Saturday. She had been missing since the 30th of April. Pulele Chwiti Jones is following the story for us. He joins us now live. Pulele, of course, a very difficult period for this family, but these suspects appearing in court today. What are they saying? Sean, this is quite terrible news. In fact, what we understand is that this gruesome killing had actually happened just a week after the funeral of the daughter of Gorgeous Gadi, Hilary Gadi, in the same province as well. So clearly it goes to show you that this is quite problematic. But now I'm just going to show you some of the visuals here of where some of the homes of the accused were burnt just last night by, of course, angry residents in this area. Um, my colleague Mohamud Istuk is going to pan to just my right hand side. There's just a shack there where one of the accused was allegedly residing at where his shack was tossed down and we're just sitting here just to stabilize the connection because if we start walking around we may just lose this picture. But again on my right hand side just a few meters away from that shack is where the neighbors as well who were arrested. Um, his home was also tossed yesterday by the accused. So it's five of them in connection to the killing um, of the little, um, little girl, Buntle, six-year-old, who was allegedly mutilated as well. This home right here is the one that was burnt, um, and this is believed to be the neighbors were also in, in connection, involved in connection to the murder of Buntle Shahan. Yeah, and Pule, of course, we uh, saw lots of emotions today. You've been trying to get more information about exactly what happened and how this unfolded. What is the family saying in terms of the police investigation, how they've been treated, and the search for this missing girl? Because she went missing on the 30th of April. Definitely. We are about to speak to the father and the aunt um, of the little girl who are going to speak to us just now, joining us on ENCA. Um, Tama, thank you very much for giving us your moment. I know you're going through a tough time as a family. Lee and Sharon, thank you very much for joining us on ENCA. Now, maybe just a few um, minutes that we have with you guys. Halakarabota. Um, how have the investigations been, have the police helped out? And I mean, this is quite terrible news. Let's see your little daughter just going missing and then next thing you find her body parts away from home, just a few, few minutes away from home. Okay. First, I go to my home. I go to my police. My police are going to be able to go to my house. Yeah. I go to my house and my police are going to be able to go to my house. And the Quebec level community, Hore, as young it's a matter, come come at the home Iona, return to lay justice, let justice as the right hole. Marunara Tava, who are okay, really female. Close as a red hoti, Lan Hore, Hueta Hale Hore, Luzem, Luzem Wana, until until the Solid Batam Pef Mulu Batal Sapo a little tool. Marunara Hore, 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 my police are as I believe the Haholo, the Sapo, the Tosi, Libaba Twering. Justice <laughs> Right. As a family and as a community, mm. I'm not talking about uh, my family only. I'm talking about as a community and as a family, as a father, as a brother, as an uncle. Mm. Yeah, that I can say, but the, all I can say it is thanks to the community and the police and the, uh, and the media for such a pitiful work that we, 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 you have done. No, thank you. Thank you, Tama. Maybe also Eric and Sharon, who's actually helped us throughout here and speaking to us to give us the opportunity to tell us more about what happened. And Sharon, what is more devastating is that one of the accused, or the two of them, 
who were involved in such a heinous criminal act actually were your neighbors and they knew the family and they knew little Buntle and that's quite upsetting as well. As the family, what is the next step? Knowing that there are people, both or even when you're not around, they are the ones who are supposed to be taking care of your child as parents to them. And to finding out who they are the ones who are killing us, it's just, it's sad, it's sad. And what happens now? I mean, five of them have been accused. Um, we saw community members torching their homes. Has that brought a bit of closure? Um, do we, do we, how, how does the family feel right now? It has brought a little bit of closure. Knowing who it's who and who and uh, all that. So we just want justice to be served. And we hope justice will be served. Little Bundle was a very smart girl as well. Um, and you know, I wonder how that is now because she probably would have made a lot of noise in the home, and that's not there anymore. Like the father speaking, she she misses her daughter as well. How does that make you feel? I lost a friend, I lost a sister since I'm the only girl here at home. Mm. So yeah, it does affect me a lot. Mm. It does hurt. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Yeah, I'm very sorry about that. And maybe just to understand, has the Department of Social Development come through? Has there been some sort of assistance in regards to what has happened, Honanung, and in terms of the memorial service arrangements and funeral service arrangements? For now, yes, the departments and all that, they have come through. But for now, the arrangements for the funeral are on hold because of the investigations and they are still checking the body and all but everyone has been helpful all the departments they've been very helpful i know maybe this might be a very light question but if you had a message to you know parents out there who have their little kids i mean this happened to just a neighbor do you think this thing of you know gender-based violence and femicide against women and children is getting out of hand as well it is it is getting out of hand because every day there's a woman being Hurt somewhere, there's a woman that's been killed somewhere. Can you please spare our lives? We don't know what we have done. I'm Sharon, thank you very much for joining us on ENCA. I will be with the family as well. Tama, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much as well. Um, Shahan, just there speaking with the father and the aunt of um, little six year old Bundle. Quite devastating, terrible news coming out of here, the community of. Um, White River here yeah, in Bumalanga. Um, it is quite sad to witness what we've just seen, that people close to you can also be at the core of committing these crimes. And after she went missing, these are the very same messages that they actually got. They found her, her body mutilated and dumped just about two kilometers away from her home. This has brought pain to the family, and surely this is a message, of course, to the nation as well to say that there should be a stronger fight against gender-based violence and femicide um, that involves women and children. Back to you, Shahan. Yeah, it's just absolutely heartbreaking to see that family go through that pain. And um, again, our condolences go out to them, our thoughts are with them. We must also stress that these are still allegations because these five suspects have only appeared in court today and that process is still unfolding.